Hey everyone, I'm Adam Azer with NCAA.com baseball editor Doug Kroll. We are continuing to preview the eight Super Regionals coming up this weekend. Today let's look at Miami hosting Arizona and Cal State Florida hosting Stanford. Doug, we start in Coral Gables with the number one overall national seed, Miami. They've got the Wildcats coming in, and this one really could come down to the bullpens. Yeah, whichever team is leading after seven innings certainly stands a pretty good chance at winning these games. Arizona has a couple of very good pitchers at the back of their bullpen. Daniel Schlereth and Jason Stoffel have been the eighth and ninth inning guys respectively for the Wildcats and been able to shut down opponents all year. Kyle Bellamy, Carlos Gutierrez for Miami are in those same roles for the Hurricanes. And last weekend in the Miami Regional, they were able to pitch in all three games. They were the only two relievers that Miami used all weekend. So Miami won all those three games. When those guys get into these games, they're usually able to win them. Now that's the formula. Get it to Bellamy and Gutierrez, and the Hurricanes usually do win. But the problem is getting to those guys. It's been an issue for the Hurricanes. Yeah, it certainly has. Starting pitching for Miami has been a little bit inconsistent. They do have a bona fide ace at the top of their rotation. Chris Hernandez, he's only a freshman, but he's 11-0. After that, like I said, a little bit inconsistent. So starting pitching is certainly an issue, especially when you look at the Wildcats lineup. you got a couple guys that can really hurt Miami this weekend. C.J. Ziegler is one of them. He set the Arizona single-season home run record with 19 home runs. Brad Glenn is another guy. He had 14 of his own. So the thing about the Arizona lineup, it's stacked with right-handers. Miami's top two starters are lefties. That is, a, that is a matchup that does not favor Miami this weekend. All right, let's stay in the Pac-10. Let's take a look at another team in action this weekend. That's the Stanford Cardinal. They are at Cal State Florida in the number five national seed. Doug, I know Stanford is the underdog, but they swept the Titans earlier this year. Yeah, they did. That was at Stanford, but still one of the most impressive weekends for the Cardinal all season long. You know, they scored 29 runs in those three games, and that's what they're going to have to do this weekend to move on to Omaha. When they have scored runs this year, they have been able to win. And when they have not put those runs up on the board, they have struggled. That's because their pitching staff has a staff ERA of 4.43. They just have not had consistency in their bullpen and starting pitching all season long. Well, what about the Titans, Doug? What do they have to do to win? Well, when you look at these two teams on paper, their numbers are very similar. They got very similar staff ERAs, good but not great lineups. The big difference are the power numbers for Stanford against the small ball numbers for Fullerton. Fullerton is top 10 nationally in stolen bases with 119, but they do not hit the long ball. Only 47 home runs as a team. No one on their in their lineup has more than nine this year, while Stanford is able to hit the long ball. So be on the lookout for that. Plus, each team does play very good defense. So look for some clean, crisp baseball all weekend long. All right, should be interesting out there in Fullerton. Thanks, Doug. No problem. All week long, we're breaking down the Super Regionals on NCAA.com. For Doug Kroll, I'm Adam Azer for CBS College Sports. Thank <laughs> you.